What's up guys and girls, Raj here, back with another reinvent video. Uh, so we had another keynote from uh, Amazon CTO Warner Vogels today. I was not expecting much, to be honest. However, some cool things came out of it. Uh, so in this video, we are gonna go over the key features that's announced today on the reinvent 2020 keynote. And also we are gonna see a demo for one of the features. So first one that I really like is AWS Cloud Shell. Uh, this actually spins up a command line access for you. Uh, so currently, if you need to run some AWS CLI commands, uh, you have to either uh, get IAM credentials and set up AWS configure in your uh, Visual Studio code or some other terminal, or you have to spin up a Cloud9 instance, right? T3 micro, T3 small or something like that, uh, which is kind of inconvenient uh, because when you want to train people, when you want to uh, just get in, learn and experiment, those steps could be a little confusing because IAM could be a little confusing. With Cloud Shell, AWS gives you a CLI with uh, AWS CLI installed, SAM tool installed, and it also comes with one gigabyte of storage and it's no cost and it will have access to all the AWS services. So you can just dive right in and start running AWS commands. So actually, uh, let me show you guys and girls real quick. Uh, so I'm gonna do a quick demo. So I'm in AWS Management Console. So I'm gonna search for Cloud Shell. Okay, they also changed this search functionality, by the way. Uh, now, it not only it shows services, it shows other marketplace stuff, relevant, uh, relevant uh, features, all that good stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's click Cloud Shell. And it's gonna give you that it, it has pre-installed AWS CLI, Python, Node.js, uh, more one gigabyte of storage free per AWS region, and you can file saved in your home directory are available in future sessions. Also remember that um, since you can access all the AWS CLI commands, if you do something critical and you want to save everything, you can easily uh, put it into S3 bucket just running a command, right? Uh, but anyway, let's close it. And then Cloud Shell takes, takes uh, a minute or two for the environment to be up and running. Uh, while it's doing that, those of you who dealt with GCP, you know GCP had this feature from early days and I really like this feature. So I'm really glad that AWS came up with this feature finally. All right, Cloud Shell is up and running. Uh, so if I do this, AWS S3 LS, um, it should show all the S3 buckets here. So it shows that AWS CLI is actually installed here. Also, if I do SAM version, uh, you should see a version for SAM CLI as well. So that's also installed for you. However, uh, I wanted to run Kubernetes. Uh, so EKSCTL and kubectl is not installed by default. However, I'm gonna install it and then uh, create a EKS cluster from this. Uh, for those of you familiar with EKS, you know that uh, spinning up a EKS cluster from a terminal using AWS CLI, uh, EKS CTL is way simpler than doing it in the console, right? Because uh, to create a EKS, you have to create a bunch of different stuff. And EKS CTL does all that for you. I have a separate video on that. If you're interested, check it out. Uh, but anyway, let's do that. Okay, as you can see, I installed EKSCTL and then kubectl. And now to create the cluster, I'm simply gonna run EKSCTL cleared cluster. And you could see that it, it uh, deployed the stack. So my EKS cluster will be up and running and I did not have to uh, export IAM credentials or create a Cloud9 change IAM roles on it, nothing. So it's pretty convenient. All right, so the next big announcement is managed Prometheus for Kubernetes. Uh, so, so you can of course install Prometheus and then run Grafana on top of it. I also have a separate uh, tutorial video with step-by-step -step demo how to create different Grafana dashboard and everything in a separate video, I'll link it up top. However, this takes away all the headache from you, right? So. So for those of you who, who are saying, okay, this is open source, I can always install it. 
Think of it like when you are working in a real world application with let's say 500 node Kubernetes EKS cluster, right? Then some uh, uh, AMI is getting changed. You are adding more stuff, new clusters coming up. So that's a lot of things to manage yourself. Yes, you can do it, but if AWS manages it for you, uh, you can use that time to do something more meaningful like develop business features uh, to help your enterprise. Second thing, which I am really passionate about is um, it actually democratizes the technology, Kubernetes. So I like Kubernetes. I have a separate course on Kubernetes. However, Kubernetes could be a little difficult to learn. Uh, for all the newcomers, there is a learning curve. With all this managed feature, uh, the newcomers can actually adopt this much more easily. Like they don't have to worry about installing Prometheus, Grafana, when Kubernetes version gets upgraded, they don't have to think about whether it breaks uh, Grafana or something. Uh, so, and then it, it gives the people who are not in Kubernetes study it and switch their career. So it kind of helps them. So I am really passionate about uh, that part. So I'm gonna have a separate video on this. This is in preview, uh, the manage Prometheus, but it has, uh, it needs a little bit more deep dive. So I'm gonna have a separate video with demo on it. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that. So the next big announcement is, which is kind of expected is managed Grafana. Uh, so if, if AWS is offering managed Prometheus, so it makes sense that AWS will offer managed Grafana as well. Uh, this is not a fully open preview, Prometheus is. Uh, so I applied for the open preview for my personal account. As soon as I get it, I'm gonna include it in the demo as well. The last feature that I really like is AWS Fault Injection Simulator. So this is basically Chaos Monkey uh, open sourced by Netflix, right? So Netflix will um, release this chaotic programs and script, which will increase the traffic, uh, bring down uh, servers, uh, like do crazy random stuff. And the system needs to be designed such a way that it could still be highly available, fault tolerant and scalable. Uh, so now, so a lot of enterprises do that. So if you guys and girls work in a big enterprise, you know, during uh, load testing or uh, functionality testing, you have to do this uh, and you have to write your own script and own uh, traffic testing, all that stuff. Now with this AWS fault injection simulator, not only it makes your life easier, but number two, it will incorporate all the facets of chaos engineering testing. So you don't have to think about all the test cases and then uh, script them. But anyway, this is coming in 2021 next year. Uh, so we'll see, I'll keep an eye out, but, but I like it. All right, so those are the big announcements from Warner Vogel reInvent 2020 keynote uh, today. Uh, if you find this video useful, uh, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 uh, magical subscriber numbers. Comment, like, do all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.